So if y'all have been following the In My 20 series on this channel where I'm trying to get my life together, you know that one of my original goals was to teach myself how to cook. It's a pretty huge downfall that I'm not able to make myself some meals, so I've been working on it a lot, and I think I've made pretty good progress. Mm. No way! It's good! Are you serious? Let's go! So I wanted to make this video to show you everything I've been cooking and baking, and hopefully it will be very easy for you to also do if you don't cook. Good morning, it's breakfast time. I can't hear myself, so that probably sounded really weird. For breakfast this morning, I'm having protein French toast. It's honestly so fast to make though. You just mix up egg whites, I get them from Trader Joe's, toss in some cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and then I add a tiny bit of brown sugar, or else I feel like I can't really taste it, if I'm honest. And then you just soak the bread and toast it in the little fryer thingy. So pretty. Need to try it? Mmm. Mmm. strawberry? Mm. That's good. I think it's called protein French toast because we're using egg whites, but I found this recipe from this YouTuber called Amelie Desai, I think. I don't know how to say her name, honestly. But yeah, it's basically me just trying to figure out how to eat dessert, but make it kind of healthy with protein. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to have my second coffee of the day So I want to just quickly one time in this video show you how I make coffee because I finally got it to the point Where I would rather drink coffee at home than go to the store and buy one Which is a really big deal for me because for years that wasn't true So I mix this Trader Joe's oat brown sugar creamer and the delight French vanilla creamer Barista Haley here two tablespoons of the oat creamer I've measured this out before and then three tablespoons of the French vanilla It's a lot of creamer and I'm aware of that but it makes me not want to go out for coffee so so it's worth it to me. And then we bring it over here. Take an espresso pod. I use the Verturo. I don't know how to say it, but it's basically a double shot of espresso. And I just pop it in. And then I mix it with a sugar cane straw. It's really not that much liquid, but then I make it iced. And that's why I have two day, because it's only a few glorious sips. It's reminiscent of a Vietnamese iced coffee because it's really strong coffee with cream, like heavy cream kind of. Like there's no milk or anything to dilute it. Cheers. It's perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna be so honest with you guys. It's now lunchtime and usually for lunchtime, I'm in the middle of the work day and I need something mega fast. So the Trader Joe's soup dumplings are so good. I like the chicken and the pork ones and they literally take two minutes in the microwave. I know that's bad, but it's so good. I'm gonna put it on a fancy plate just for the video, okay? <laughs> so literally all you do is cut the edge and then put them in for two minutes. Look at my Uggs. I made two because I'm sharing this with Ryan. Low-key, this would make a great appetizer if you were hosting because it's so easy, but they're genuinely delicious, but they also look really cute. <laughs> and do a little soy sauce in the middle. All right, getting my apron on because I'm gonna be baking. I'm gonna make pumpkin chocolate chip cookies for our Bible study tonight because people always contribute and I have not contributed a single thing. I'm gonna whip these up real quick. I've never done this from scratch, so I'm very excited though. Okay, I'm so excited because I got a new pan cookie thing. It's from Our Place. We have their set of pans and everything. I got this really nice pan from them, so I get to use it now. It comes with this thing over top, which I don't understand really. Like, do I oil over this? I'm not sure. Okay, sprayed half of it. All right, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Hope they turn out good. Okay, so I actually put double as much baking powder as I was supposed to, so I'm gonna taste these and I might have to make them again. Look at that, this is so cute. Ooh. Yeah, they feel a little like doughy. 
Yeah, I don't think I like the texture of those. I'm hoping it's because of the baking powder. Can you tell it's like a little too bouncy? I hope it's the baking powder and not just like the recipe in general. It's very flowery. I'm gonna remake them. You guys have been telling me to try HelloFresh for so long. It's not sponsored. Would you believe it? Would you believe it that a YouTuber is cooking HelloFresh and it's not sponsored? I bought this with my own money, so hopefully they just watch this and then want to sponsor me. I'm gonna try it. This is going to be a Swiss burger. already and then I went on a W-A-L-K with Spock. Now it's time for breakfast, but it's 11 a.m. I don't know. I'm gonna speed run this avocado toast because you've probably seen it in every single what I eat in a day video you've ever seen, but I have one secret ingredient that I'm gonna be showcasing at the end and it could change your life or you might be disgusted with me. We'll, we'll see, we'll find out. Here we go. Secret ingredient to avocado toast, in my opinion, is drizzling honey over it. I had this happen to me on accident at an acai bowl place, and ever since, it's been perfect, but I also eat honey like with chicken, <laughs> like fried nuggets, and pizza. So this might be a stretch for some people, but I think it's delicious. It's just very subtle. In some bites, you notice it, and then you're like, ooh, it's a little sweet with the contrast of the salt and pepper. It's really good. I just got home from a workout, so I'm gonna make a little protein shake but I'm starving. I just need enough energy to actually cook dinner. So I'm gonna make a protein shake, not only just cause I worked out, but because I need fuel to just stand in the kitchen and cook some more. So my bananas are nice and ripe. So it's gonna be a sweet smoothie. My dad has been making me these since I was little and I still drink them. They're so good. It's just your classic banana, peanut butter, vanilla protein with ice smoothie. I'm using this protein from Sierra Fit. It's so delicious. I struggle to get enough protein in my diet most days, so these are helpful for that. And then I'm putting in PB2 powder. It's peanut powder with cocoa. Almond milk. And then I add ice. Oh, it's a thick one today. Cheers. I'm baking a three layer cake today for my friend's party. I'm gonna try to make this and I'll show you the results. to drive in the car with this for 30 minutes, so pray for it. Okay, this was the first dinner meal that I actually cooked that gave me so much more confidence to just learn new recipes. So this is crispy teriyaki tofu. I'm not vegetarian or anything. I just thought it would be fun to cook with because there's no like weird animal parts and it's just really good. So even if you're not vegetarian or vegan, you can still enjoy tofu. I'll leave all the recipes in the description, but you basically just mix a little substance together, cut up your tofu. I like to cut it nice and thin so that it gets crispier. And then you soak it in this little mixture, put it in your frying pan, cook it till it's crispy and brown and then flip it and then you make the teriyaki sauce which I ended up burning and having to remake and then I just do one of those like easy packs of rice and then you mix it together and that's it and I usually make broccoli as well but I got really overwhelmed this day because I was making it for three people and I burned the teriyaki sauce so I'm still trying to nail down the timing of cooking multiple things at once it's so easy and it's so delicious and now I feel like I can just look on websites and practice different recipes <laughs> For dessert, I'm having a Diet Dr. Pepper cream soda. These things are so addicting. And a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. Dang, this recipe is good. Okay, it's nighttime and I have to show you one of my favorite snacks. Blueberry vanilla goat cheese from Trader Joe's. This is what the package looks like. And then water crackers. Oops. Romanticize your life by putting your little snack on your little charcuterie board for no reason other than it's so cute and I feel like a mouse. Mm. It's so good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm excited to read this and see if I like her other book. I just came back from a run, so I look extremely gorgeous. Okay, what I'm about to show you is I'm hesitant to show you this because I call it my at-home McDonald's McGriddle, but it's gonna be super controversial, okay? But I'm just gonna make it 
and I'm gonna show you because I genuinely eat this and enjoy it. Starting with air frying these turkey sausage patties for 10 minutes in the air fryer. I put the English muffins in at three minutes to toast them. It's out of the air fryer, you're probably thinking, What's wrong with this meal? I see nothing wrong yet. Here's where we're gonna have some comment section debates. I'm then going to take grape jelly. This one's like sugar-free. I didn't mean to get it sugar-free, but it's fine. And I'm going to put it on my English muffin. And I love English muffins because they have a buttery taste without even putting butter on them. I literally just put the sausage over top of that and I eat it. It's so good to me. I don't know. I never sit at this counter because Spock just wants to come up. <laughs> needs to be included, so. Those are all the meals I have for you. I have a few more up my sleeve. Well, not that many more, but I'm making progress. Cooking was always one of those things I just told myself I would never be good at and I would never be interested in so it. Anytime I saw a TikTok about cooking, a video, I would just scroll away, close my mind off because I already told myself I was uninterested. And then one day I was like, what if I just became interested? <laughs> and now I actually get really excited to make new meals, bake new recipes. And I just think it's really fun that I'm still discovering new things that I previously thought I would never be able to accomplish. And it is one of the most rewarding feelings in the entire world. So I hope that even though these were super simple, perhaps you could try a few of them and then you could also give me some new food ideas in the comments. And I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Bye.